Welcome back to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux, sports video producer for The Daily. I'm Kevin Dodd, sports editor for The Daily. And I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer for The Daily. And let's get right to the spring ball highlights. There were around 11,800 people who attended the spring ball scrimmage at Century Link Field on Saturday, April 28th. Many were curious to see how the defense would look after receiving a full new coaching staff just this past January. But it was clear by the final score of 36-10 that the Husky defense dominated this game. Good defenses win those one-on-one -on -one battles, and we showed that today, that we were able to win one-on-one -on -one battles. And it wasn't just one guy, it was a variety of guys doing it. And we were a little bit off offensively today, and they were able to make their plays. Andrew Hudson and Corey Waller each were credited for two sacks in the game. Defense had a total of seven sacks altogether. A touch counted for a sack since the QBs were off limits from contact. Fans got to see a lot of play from backup quarterback Derek Brown. Coach Sarkeesian ranked him second in the QB lineup just ahead of Thomas Vincent. Brown was 12 for 24 passing for a total of 128 yards. Keith Price was 14 for 28 passing for 168 total yards. He threw this pass towards the end of the third quarter to fullback Jonathan Amosa, who ran the ball in for the offense's one and only touchdown of the game. All right, welcome back. We're here at CenturyLink Field, the new home of the Huskies, at least for the 2012-2013 season, while Husky Stadium is under renovation. Um, spring game today, defense came out on top, 36-10. Offense struggled a little bit. But, Kevin, who would you say was the MVP of the game for you today? Of uh, the game today, I would probably say Josh Shirley. I think also end of the, of the spring as a whole. He was, uh, he was really a presence out there. You can tell that kind of what happened with him towards the end of the season where his play was picking up a lot. He's kind of been carrying over, and he lo really looks like a, like a strong player out there. Oh, I, I love what Josh brings. You know, I think that uh, credit to Coach Lupoy and Coach Nansen and Coach Wilcox of um, – understanding Josh you know every kid is different every kid's unique and you have to coach each of them differently and understand that and I think they've really pushed the right buttons with Josh and they've really motivated Josh to be special not just be good but be special uh, and Josh has continually responded and uh, showed it again today how about for you Taylor who was the MVP of the game today uh, today's MVP you know I don't really have an MVP for this game I don't really know I didn't see anyone that really stood out Josh Shirley on defense was pretty good but I mean, honestly, it was kind of like a ho-hum spring game. No one really stood out. No one did made any huge plays. And overall, if I could give one MVP, I'd probably give to the defense as a whole just because they looked really good out there. You know, we're still some spots that we've, we've got to continue to develop. And the guys that have shown improvement this spring have got to continue to improve because we're still not where we need to be. I mean, I, I keep saying that, but it's the truth. Um, Wilcox definitely has a different sort of presence on the field. Can you talk a little bit to that, Kevin? Yeah. Uh, what I noticed the most about them, as far as new schematically stuff on defense today, was just the coverage in the secondary. It seemed a lot tighter and a lot more aggressive, um, which is obviously has been tough to do the last couple of years just because they didn't really have the players to do that. But now that they're starting to kind of get some higher quality corners and safeties in there, you can tell it's really making a difference in how they're, in how they're defending the pass. We're just playing tighter. That's all. And, you know, we're, giving our, we're helping each other out. We're helping the linebackers, corners, helping safeties, safeties helping corners. It's, everybody's working together. All right, Taylor, so after watching the spring game today, what are you most excited for for next season? Yeah, you know, the offense wasn't that great today, and Keith Price didn't play all that well, but it's the offense that I'm most excited about with Keith Price, and then you have Austin Safarian Jenkins is going to be a sophomore, Casey Williams will be a sophomore, and Bishop Sankey, who I think is going to be maybe even a better running back than Chris Polk when, he, when it's all said and done. I'm most excited about the offense. You pair that with the good defense that we saw today, and things are looking pretty good for the Huskies, I think, for uh, next season. And we can check out that great offense right here at CenturyLink Field September 1st. The Huskies will kick off and we'll be back for a Husky highlight show. But until then, thanks for watching.